I was having a conversation with somebody in our Combat Sports World Facebook page. We were talking about Henry Cejudo. Truthfully, who else has done it? Uh, you kind of, with guys like him and Israel Asanya and Conor McGregor, you have to try your hardest to look past the antics and kind of the personality that they choose to put off for the rest of the world. And you kind of have to just look at what they've done. You know, if you were only armed with the evidence, the only thing you knew about Conor McGregor was what he had done in his fights. If you learned that, you know, he came up the featherweight ranks, sold out shows, his second fight in the UFC, was the most hyped, talked about fighter, point blank. And as well, on top of that, was knocking everybody out. Knocked out the, the number one pound for pound ranked fighter in the world in 13 seconds. You, you, you got to give him some sort of credit here. With people like Henry Cejudo, when you're thinking about who else has done it, Olympic gold medal, 125 champ, beat the greatest MMA fighter to ever live, and Demetrius Johnson, the GOAT, and then beat TJ Dillashaw, and then went up and beat Marlon Marias. And when we were talking about who else has done it, the topic was mainly focused around who else has won a gold medal in the Olympics, transitioned, and won a world championship in MMA. Now, I know that he's been the first UFC. I don't know if there's been any others in any other big uh, worldwide organizations. Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't think there has been. But somebody in the comments brought up that a lot of boxers have. That a lot of boxers have done it. Won Olympic gold medals and then went on to win world championships. A lot of boxers have done it. But being being an Olympic gold medalist in boxing and then going into your singular combat sport your singular martial art of boxing has to be a little bit easier to do than MMA right I mean wrestling is only one small piece of, of fighting there are a bunch of other pieces of fighting like boxing I mean has there been a, a, a boxing gold medalist to come over in MMA and do it I don't think so either correct me if I'm wrong again but I do not think so it's one singular martial art you have to learn boxing kickboxing Taekwondo, Muay Thai, the clinch game, the ground game, the fence game, submissions. If you've been a wrestler out there, go out and go. If you've never done jiu-jitsu, be a wrestler and go into jiu-jitsu practice. You're going to get choked out by most people in your first few days. It's because wrestling, as a rule set, allows you to get away in certain positions because there's no danger there. When there would be danger there if you were in jiu-jitsu. And where there would definitely be danger if there were punches involved. So I'm not saying that wrestlers can't grapple or are bad at grappling or bad at jiu-jitsu. No, the, 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 strongest, the strongest grappling presence is a wrestler that learns jiu-jitsu. But just a straight wrestler is not going to cut it. You're going to get choked out. That's how this works. Henry Cejudo had to transition and learn so much more to be accomplished and successful in MMA than say a boxer would winning a gold medal and then going on to be a world champion in boxing. Plus the weight class is every two to four pounds, all the different promotions. There's so many different abilities and ways to be a world champion in boxing. And I kind of think that it's, it kind of goes into the narrative of, of can crushing for boxers, you know, so they can at least say, Hey, I, you know, that guy was a two time world champion. Yeah. Well, the guy was a bum. You beat me up, but compared to you and compared to the higher and upper echelon of boxers that you're supposed to be fighting, he's a bum. You don't really have those kinds of options in MMA. There's really, there hasn't been much can crushing outside of Greg Sharp's, Greg Sharp's promotion in MMA that, that you can really know about. I mean, of course, Japan is one thing, but I'm talking about the basis of Western MMA. The UFC. Now you go over and look at Bellator. You got people like Michael Venom Page that were brought up crushing cans. Still good fighters. They beat me up. But compared to the upper echelon, you're supposed to be the second biggest mixed martial arts promotion in the U.S. And you have someone that good fighting people that incompetent. You're can crushing. Dylan Dennis can crushing. Sage Northcutt. He went over to one. He didn't get to crush a can, I'll tell you that much. 
he got his face crushed. There is a difference between boxers going into boxing and winning a world champion and a wrestler learning the other 25 different things he's got to learn on top of wrestling and still continue to be a good wrestler to transition to MMA. There's a difference. Henry Cejudo is something special. Now, whether the dominoes just fell in his favor, like the, the double champ, the champ champ just fell in Conor McGregor's favor, like the champ champ just fell in DC in Amanda Nunez's favor, then you can go with that. He might not be special in 10 years, but he's special today. I mean, he won a gold medal at the Olympics. It's impossible to can crush going into the Olympics. What are your thoughts on this? I wanna, I wanna know what your thoughts as well are. What, what's the difference? Has Henry Cejudo actually done something special, or is MMA just so far behind the curve of other more established combat sports, singular combat sports like boxing, that we're gonna see that more and more as time goes on? Let me know what you think. Combat Sports World.